hate YouTube, what goes on? And welcome back to This About Action Figures, bringing you Toy Hunt episode number 267. We're here in Allentown, Pennsylvania at Cedar Crest Boulevard Target, and we're waiting for a very special friend of the channel, Mr. Six Packs and Knickknacks, to come hang out for the day for a toy. And so this entire video will be uh, us roaming around the Lehigh Valley doing some toy hunting. But before we get to any of that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything, and it helps us go to the channel two minutes into March to 5,000 subscribers. Then go ahead, hit that bell for notifications. That way, YouTube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content to the channel, like our weekly toy and reviews and live streams. Leave a comment down below with that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at this about underscore 12. Give six packs of Nacks a follow and a sub on Instagram and on YouTube. Let's see what they have inside. All right, so Main Isle here at Cedar Crest. So I was watching Tampa Jay and Chris the Girl, two uh, Tampa, Florida based uh, YouTube vloggers, giant channels, of course. Uh, amusement parks, whatever. But uh, yeah, they were at a Target toy hunt and, uh, well, it's a toy, sorry, Halloween hunt. And they picked up uh, these cool little uh, Target kind of fun house uh, fair things. Yeah, they suckered me in. So I am blaming them for me buying these, but they're cool. They'll look cool uh, on display. Ah, there it is. There's the Thor and the Destroyer. Today might be the day. I told Six Packs and Nick Knacks I might buy it when he's here later. So we'll see. But there are still tons of these two packs sitting here. And man, I'll tell you what, that Doom is going to be nice on clearance if it lasts that long, which it's looking like it probably will. Um, up top, Spider Man still fully stocked. The Rose is chilling there. I'm not really too in that, on that wave. Uh, back behind, wrestling is a barren wasteland, basically. Unfortunately, there's not a lot here anymore. Waiting for some desperate neededly, desperately needed restocks here. But down this way, Star Wars stuff. Uh, that's what you expect to see. So this store pretty much looks like it has uh, for a while now. Nothing really new popping up. I guess that is new right there with the show coming out. Uh, I think starting this week or two. Uh, we still have Battle Armor He-Man here. Still have some of the Indiana Jones. We have a Moth Ger Ger Gerard. Is that how you say it? I, again, another huge Star Wars guy. I like it. Just I'm not that, that, that deep in all the characters. Uh, we have the Turtle Tots. They're cool looking little guys. Motu, Jitsu, Wally's here. I think that's new. Uh, it's part of the Disney 100, I think, maybe. Uh, Jurassic Park Jesser section. Again, that's what you got for dinosaur stuff going on. That turtle section is still over there as well, with all the turtle stuff. So very little stock with turtle gear, but let's walk around since we're going to get, and i got to decide if I'm going to get these or not. They're five bucks a piece. I, I kind of low-key, I'm probably going to hate myself if I buy them, but yet they look awesome too, so I don't know. We'll see. Spooky season here. Got to start buying some spooky things besides toys. And down here on the end cap, still here at Cedar, all these Joes are piling up right here. Uh, Major Blood, Tiger Force going on there as well. Shipwreck, He-Man. We have an open Nyla Rose. I'm not sure what happened there. And uh, yeah, we got some Grogu hiding down below. Well, let's check these end caps because you never know what you're going to find shoved over here uh, in these stores. Again, if it runs out of, there's no place for something to go anymore. They just got to shove it over here, but... Yep, keep looking around so this will be fine here. Wow, look at all those helmets. All right, so as we wait for the imminent arrival of six packs, knickknacks, he was at Target, got attacked by a yellow jacket. It was a whole thing, <laughs> but he's okay and he's on his way here. But we're going to check this Walmart first and then we'll meet up with six packs and see what a day takes us.
definitely have music over the top of that portion of the video because the aisle was very busy. Uh, all sorts of stuff going on, so definitely couldn't narrate. Um, anyways, over here, check this out. We got two Broadways here. And again, this is MacArthur Road, a Walmart, and we have restock on the Turtles. Uh, they're both Leo and Donnie. I had this and I never opened it. I have both of those two packs. I just have eventually, I have aspirations of eventually putting together a turtle shelf. So I, I did collect that a ways back when they first came out. Uh, good to see Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil here. Uh, Friday the 13th, chilling right there. Of course, E.T. phone home. It's been moved to the side. Uh, we got uh, Bono in the edge in the house uh, for Pops. Uh, Demon Slayer. I don't know anything about Demon Slayer, other than, but that does look pretty cool. <laughs> Whatever the heck it is by Bandai. Um, that's pretty interesting looking. Uh, down this way, a bunch of stuff I don't collect, but just so you know what's here, I'll show you. Dragon Ball Z. We have some best action turtles. We got ripped open Michelangelo. We got a random Rey Mysterio basic chilling down there. Uh, that seems to be about it for this location. So I think we're going to go meet up with Six Packs and Knickknacks, and we're going to go hit a Target or, I don't know, something else. Like so uh, we found Six Packs and Knickknacks, and look what he found when we got to uh, Burlington. Pretty good buy there, Six Packs. $9.99 for the four-wheeler itself. You could put anyone on there, even the Mayor Steve. Mm-hmm. Looking at those, finding those deals. Burlington. Six Packs, checking out the wrestling, and there... Oh, gosh. The box integrity. Oh, look at that. <laughs> The, the, com the comments I'm gonna get. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, there might literally be 20 shipwrecks in this store. There's maybe not 20. I'd say maybe like 12. So maybe two full cases. Same thing with rock and roll. There's so many of these that are out. I hate to say it, but I think they're gonna go on clearance. 11 undertakers. 11 undertakers. They really have to talk to Tarjay about how they go about their strategy of ordering dedicated cases of figures because that's why these things are clearancing so quickly and i know a lot of people might say oh well you talk too much about you know clearance figures things being cheap i like this stuff but the thing is like target does it to themselves and they make legends look bad when they decide to order you know four dead case cases of a single figure and then they wonder why it sits there so that's on target i mean we reek the benefits of it but at the end of the day i feel bad because it actually makes like I actually, I actually don't feel bad for Hasbro, but uh, the Legends team's a cool group of guys. You know, it's their product that sits around then because Target, you know, decides to just let it sit there in so many cases. Let me know your thoughts down below. Maybe I'm just inaccurate. I don't know. As MJF would say, this is the mid section of NECA. <laughs> it's mid. Thank you for being a friend. Plenty of uh, copyright in the area as well. I mentioned last video, I'm taking a skip on that one. Some people told me I shouldn't. I probably will stick to my guns though, although we do appreciate the feedback down below bunch of mandrakes got the boys starlight still here goliath down below but not much else here we go somebody's hiding something down here huh there's nothing down there i don't see anything over here oh, ha, ha, ha. so how old is this thing six packs it's at least two maybe two and a half years old I'm surprised it wasn't fused to the floor but uh oh god this is on the ddp on the back that I never saw in person. Online exclusive. Oh, always online, that's why. Maybe we'll give it a shot, see what it rings right, up as. Uh, if I'm flipping this next panel over, we got more stuff shut back there. Let's get it out. All right, so we found somebody's stash here. <laughs> this is crazy, this is still here. That's been there for a while. Makes me want to move some of the stuff out of the way and look underneath the rest. But haven't flipped panels in a while. Sometimes you find stuff, and again, we're doing it safely. Uh, away from people. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what scans here. All right, let's stuff. do some scanning here. We're gonna do Spider-Man first. I have to imagine most of this is gonna be out of the system. Six packs. Let's see here. Twenty-two ninety-nine. Nope. <laughs> That's going back on a shelf. Let's try Cena. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Yeah. Oh, that means it's, it's free, free, right? Yeah. Just walk out with it. Nothing bad happens to you. Yeah. Let's see here. Seventy. Oh, full price still on him. And uh, let's see. This guy's a little bit older. He might be. Oh, 14 dollars so yeah, whoever's playing long game wasn't gonna win on these anyway. So I mentioned how I always try to be respectful and not narrate and film when there's people in the aisle. This, I have to wait sometimes. I've been in about probably 10, 15 minutes for the aisle to clear. There were two younger kids with their, their grandmother, I think. So again, not complaining, just saying sometimes you gotta, you know, just be patient and, uh, you know, do the right thing, I guess. But down here is some Spider-Man stuff, Ultron. I said if I found the Thor two pack with six packs, I would buy it. So if the Thor 2-pack's here, I may have to buy it, but I think these might be all Hulks. Looks like all Hulks, I think, which is crazy. These are all Hulk. What was I just saying about over-ordering? Yeah, over-ordering on figures. 
So yeah, I think I'm off the hook here. I'm gonna clean all this up and double check there's no Thors. But real quick, I'll show you down here. There's more of those shipwrecks I was talking about right there, all pegged up. Tons of rock and roll here. So again, lots and lots of stuff here at Target today. But I'm gonna go clean up my mess. Uh, hey, Pat, I'm going to replace my divot. All right, so we put Cena back on the peg uh, since he is a free figure apparently. But yeah, how many Undertakers are there? Six packs? 14. 14 Undertakers here. That's an exclusive here, so I think. Exclusive. Yeah, so I guess that one you're gonna have a lot of, but there's the Indies still sitting there and waiting for clearance. Down below we saw Whiplash, Clawful, uh, Point Dread Talon Fighter, and Turtle stuff down here. Jurassic Chester section. But uh, what do you say? So next time to go elsewhere, find another store. This doesn't count, it has to be Target. <laughs> Price tag on this thing? Means it's free, right? Blob. Oh, this is here. The system's currently down, or I might buy that. First time I've seen that, I think, at a reasonable price. Check that out there. Yeah, I, I, if their system was down, I actually might buy it. <laughs> Let's see if it works. I'm seeing that. Abyss. <laughs> so six packs found this elsewhere in the store. Not something I'm picking up, but cool to see. But that is more likely to go home with me if the system works. this guy here again. Easy pass for me. Prime Arcade. Shout out to Josh. So we're back in the Toys R Us in Macy's in the Lehigh Valley Mall. And they have a pretty crazy deal for last act toys, meaning clearance stuff. Buy one, get one free. So again, I don't need these, but if you do, check your, if you have a Toys R Us in your Macy's, because you could grab two of more Marvel Legends for eleven forty three. So what, you know, it's not too bad. It's, you get two for uh, five bucks basically, right? Five a piece. I think that's all that's here though. They did have Quake here for the longest time. And uh, needless to say, but if you're looking for the controller way, this is a pretty cheap way to go back in. All right, so I said the six packs. I bet you they want like $100 for this, which I know sounds ridiculous, and it is. And they do want 100 of these, which is just stupid, stupid expensive. But then, as I went to walk away, I looked down, and I genuinely gasped aloud when I saw these here. I've not seen these in hand before, and they do look really good. Problem is, they are $39.99 here, and I don't think I can get myself to do that. <laughs> but they have Fei Long here. And they also have Ryu here, so very cool. I will not be getting these today, especially not here. However, awesome finally seeing those in hand because I have just not seen them anywhere yet. Other than that, everything else here is typically what we've seen on other trips and it's all very expensive and I will not be buying any of it. So we stopped off here at Spirit Halloween as Six Packs and I always do when we're hanging out this time of year. And they have officially branded X-Men 97 costumes. Very cool to see Gambit in here. 
Um, I am making a separate update video uh, for Spirit Halloween that'll be up on the channel. I did a, my first one from Hazleton. I'll be doing another one here from Allentown. It'll be a lot shorter. I'm trying to show mostly stuff I really like from Hazleton or stuff they didn't have there that's new here, but no, 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 no. All right, so I was, was gonna film in here uh, until Six Packs called me over and said, hey, they have Angela here. So haven't seen this yet in hand till now, uh, but if you're a Gargoyles collector, this is popping up at Second and Charles, which means Bam probably also has this too. I kind of checked out a Gargoyles when I passed on Broadway. Um, I kind of said, all right, I'm probably done, <laughs> unfortunately, because I know that they don't really disappear. They're, they seem like they're still ample. But uh, yeah, cool to see your Gargoyles collector. And I will say there is some stupidly, awfully priced Marvel Legends here. Please don't buy Marvel Legends at Second and Charles if they are this stupid, stupid price. Always check online first, see what they're going for. But oh, speaking of price, if you're curious, uh, this goes for $39.99 here. Not too bad. All right, so back here at Cedar Crest with six packs and knickknacks. I was here myself this morning to start the video out. We came back. He loved the Halloween stuff. He actually picked up some stuff like I did. Got some lights, some skulls, right? Yeah, skulls for a skull cap. Yeah, so again, I, I, they pulled me out of this whole Halloween village thing. But I said earlier that I like to make purchases when we're on an all-day toy hunt with six packs. Because then I remember that I was I bought it that day. So I said at the beginning, if the Thor 2-pack was in a store and six packs was with us, I would get it. Well, there it is. Here he is. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to get it. So it looks pretty awesome, and we'll figure out what we do with Thor afterwards. But uh, I think we're going to call it a hunt there, everybody. So uh, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. And it helps us grow the channel from minutes into March to 5,000 subscribers. Then go ahead and hit that bell for notifications, because that way YouTube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content here to the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Six Packs, where can the people find you at? Find me at Six Packs and Knickknacks over at Instagram. Same goes for YouTube at Six Packs and Knickknacks. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a follow. We'll see you there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs. Oh, yeah. And the other thing. If you're going toy hunt this week, remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. But again, take care, stay healthy. We'll see you all at the pegs.